when I say engage emotions, one thing I'm thinking of is, hey, first off, I'm trying to avoid the, the dual dangers of just squash your emotions, don't feel them, you know, repent and get out of there, don't think about it, don't listen to it, um, or embrace, it's just, it is who you are, and so you just have to embrace your emotions, or whatever you feel, that's the most important thing about you, and you need to do whatever you need to do to feel like you want to feel, and instead so there's this middle way of listen to them, see what they have to say, see what it's telling you about what you value, see what you're doing with it or what you're doing to escape it. You know, let let yourself actually sit and examine what what is happening in my heart here. What what is this telling me about what I value? How am I handling this? And then but then recognizing you you can't examine your emotions without <clears throat> bringing them to the Lord, uh, which is another way of saying you can, of course, and 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 it backfires. The circuit gets broken when you do that because our emotions were made to help us share God's heart, uh, to hate what he hates, to love what he loves, mm-hmm. to grieve what, what grieves him, to be passionate about what excites him, to delight in the things that delight him. And so if if our emotions are fundamentally an opportunity for us to share his heart, then every emotion, whether it's um, guilt or whether it's joy or sadness or anxiety, it's a, this tailor-made opportunity to come and hear his promises speaking into that situation. Come and hear his heart of compassion or of shared excitement or whatever the case may be. So so all emotions were meant to lead us into a relationship with the Lord just as we are intended to connect with each other mm-hmm. through uh, sharing of emotion. And so in that sense... Uh, it, it should be an, it should be an unsequitur. It should actually be impossible for us to experience joy even at a beautiful sunset without saying, "Ah, oh, Lord, isn't this wonderful what you've mm-hmm. what you've made?" And even that can, of course, become formulaic, right? Okay, yeah, I need yeah. to thank God for His sunset before <laughs> I can, you know, leave. And it's just there's something right about uh, what wells up in us, uh, lifting our eyes yeah, to yeah. the Lord um, for help, for thanks, for for whatever the case might be.